Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from Simon Says It. In this video, I'll show you how to create an Excel heat map from scratch the easy way. But before we begin, let us first understand what a heat map is in the first place. In Excel, charts are widely used to present data in an easy to understand and visually intuitive format. The heat map is one such very popular data visualization tool. A heat map is actually a color coded table. It conveys a lot of information easily by combining a normal table with a color palette. I'm sure most of us would have come across heat maps in our daily lives. They are used in reports to draw attention to certain data points and explain them easily. Heat maps in Excel use colors to differentiate data, thus helping you get a bird's eye view of what's happening. The value in each cell of an Excel heat map has a color and it conveys some meaning. It usually ranges from dark to light color and represents the weightage of the value in the cell. But unfortunately, there is no built-in heat map tool or chart type in Excel. But that should not stop you from using this wonderful tool. That's why, in the next section, let us see how to create a heat map in Excel using conditional formatting. As the first step, enter your source data in the usual format. This will act as the base of your heat map. Ensure that all the rows and columns of your source data are properly labeled to avoid confusion. Next, select the range of cells where you wish to apply the heat map. Then, go to click on the color scales option under the conditional formatting section of the Home tab and pick any suitable color scale. In this example, the red-yellow-green color scale applies green color to lower values and red to higher values. Anything in between will get a shade of yellow mixed with green and red. There is a gradient with different shades for the three colors. If you don't want the numbers to appear in your heat map, select the numbers and press the Control plus one shortcut to open the Format Cells dialog box. There, go to the Custom category of the Number tab. Now, type three semicolons in the text box and click OK. Congratulations, you have successfully created a heat map in Excel. Sometimes you don't want a multicolor heat map and instead want a single color to be highlighted for the lower values for the sake of simplicity. To do this, go to click on the More Rules button under the Color Scale section of Conditional Formatting. Now, in the New Formatting rule box, select Two Color Scale from the Format Style drop box and set any single colors, lighter and darker hues in the minimum and maximum color pickers as per your requirements. That's it. Click OK to view your single color gradient heat map. An Excel heat map is dynamic by default since it reads the cell values and changes color accordingly. But if you notice carefully, it will not update itself if new rows of data are added. To make it truly dynamic, format your entire data as a table. You can easily do this by selecting the entire heat map, including the headers and using the Control plus T shortcut. This way, your heat map will update automatically if newer rows of data are inserted. That's all, folks. In this video, we learned how to create a heat map using conditional formatting in five simple steps. I recommend you test this out in a practice sheet to gain better understanding. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.